a lot of us have businesses. A lot of us have things we like to market, a product that we want to sell. Okay? We have customers who are not Muslim. Do you agree? Do you agree? We have customers who are not Muslim. I want to ask you a question. What is more important, deen or dunya? Deen, right? Okay. Deen is more important, which means your faith, your religion is more important than your life, your, your living, for example, right? Your faith. So your faith is more important. For dunya, you are ready to compromise and to live together and to set aside your differences and respect your differences because this man, this woman who belongs to a different faith or who belongs to no faith at all would like to purchase your product and that is an important person as a customer. You will treat them well, you will respect them, you will greet them, you will acknowledge them, you might even invite them for a meal, you might treat them and give them a gift once in a while because they are your customers your client regarding dunya, a product. Don't you think you should be even more than all of that put together when it comes to something much more important and that is deen. That is deen. The deen is a product which we need to market. The only way of marketing it is if we were to fulfill the method of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam when he marketed the deen right at the beginning. Marketing is called da'wah. Do you agree? Subhanallah. How do I do da'wah? I have to interact. I have to mix. I have to greet. I have to talk. I have to acknowledge. I might want to exchange gifts. These are human beings. They are different from you. But you need to know how to build the bridge. You need to know, going back to the sunnah of Muhammad wasallam, you cannot divorce yourself completely because that would mean that you don't have a concern for the rest of humanity. Imagine if people were divorced completely from those whom they differed with, we would probably not be Muslims because maybe they wouldn't have interacted with us or our forefathers or whoever accepted Islam. So we need to be realistic about these things.